I bought three slimes from Amazon and today we're giving them an extreme slime makeover. I found these somewhat questionable slimes from Amazon and as a seven year slime expert, I bet we can make it even better. So uh, let's get started. All right, so the first one I have here is this brown milk tea boba slime and this was priced at $9.99 on Amazon. This slime is sealed tightly with this plastic wrap and it seemed like it didn't do a perfect job because it does have a leak right here but I'm really curious to see what $9.99 is gonna get us. I hope this smells like milk tea, but let's see. Whoa. Okay, first off, I can tell it's super sticky and I'm kind of afraid to touch this. We're gonna touch this without any slime activator though because we wanna see the true quality of Amazon slimes. Okay, I hope this slime is bubble tea scented or I'm gonna be disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. <laughs> this does not smell like bubble tea. It smells like nothing. So, okay. I feel like I know the direction I want to go with fixing this slime. We definitely have to improve the color. And also these boba beads. It's definitely small to accurately represent bubble tea with these beads. So, okay. We, this sticky slime definitely needs a makeover. We're gonna fix it. For this slime makeover, I want to make it super fluffy, so I'm going to go all in with the shaving cream. I usually don't use shaving cream for the slimes that I sell because it deflates during transit, but for this slime makeover, we're not shipping this slime, so I can go crazy with shaving cream. Okay, I fully mixed in my shaving cream and it's super fluffy now, but I need to mix in some glycerin to make the slime a little bit more stretchy. All right, let's mix this up. And because glycerin is oil-based, it'll make slime a lot stretchier. We have our pink dye and I want to make this super bright. So I'm just gonna pour quite a bit. Let's just go crazy with this. This slime feels like it would be perfect to make slime bubbles. Guys, this texture feels so nice. I am obsessed with the fluffiness. Okay, now it's bubblegum pink, just like how I want it. And now we have to add in some decorations. I'm gonna keep it boa themed, so let's bring in some boa beads. So first things first, one thing I have to change about this slime are these tiny boa beads that came with it. So I brought these gigantic boa balls that we use for our milk tea slimes, and we're going to add them in. So I'm gonna put my boa beads in first before I put in the slime so that you can see it from the side. And then let's take some of our slime that we fixed and fill it up just like that. I decided to go with a kawaii strawberry boba bear theme. So I have a bunch of strawberry charms that I'm going to decorate and put on top of this slime. Okay, let's first put on the label. The label is so adorable. And now we have these strawberry sprinkles. I'm also going to top it off with even more bow beads on top. And we also have this strawberry and a red bow charm that we are going to put on the side. And to top off the slime, our clay artist made this super adorable kawaii clay bear. Guys, I'm obsessed with how this slime turned out. It's probably the cutest thing you've seen on the internet this week. And let me know if this slime is cuter than mooning, because I think so. After mixing the clay, this slime texture turned even better. So I would say this slime makeover was a success. Let's open up our next Amazon slime. This next Amazon slime that I have costed $14 and it is this hefty bucket of tri-colored slime. And the handle did arrive broken, but all I care about is how the slime feels. So let's see it. Whoa, I think it leaked a little bit. Okay, so this slime is in these three separate sections like this so that the colors don't mix. It's pretty interesting. Let's smell it. Doesn't smell like anything. Now let's feel the textures. I love the vibrant colors though, definitely. I think I might want to keep these vibrant colors when I'm fixing the slime and maybe turn it into like more of a candy theme slime. Honestly, this is a pretty good amount of slime for $14, but the texture is not my favorite. It's kind of jiggly and the stretch, 
I mean, it's there, but it's still a little bit rippy. And I feel like for this slime, we need to give this texture an ultimate makeover. So let's get started. All right, so I'm going to turn this slime into an icy slime. So here we have our snow powder and water. This is going to help us make that icy texture. So I'm just going to get a few scoops of this dry snow powder and water. For icy slime, we definitely need to add quite a bit of water. This will make that sizzly texture that we want for our icy slime. Now that we have our snow mixture, we're going to add it into each of our slime colors and turn it into an icy texture. Hopefully this jiggly texture mixes well with the snow powder or else we might have to add some more glue. When we normally make icy slimes, we need to let the snow powder soak into the slime and let it sit for a couple of days. But since we're making this on the spot, we might have to turn this into a cloud slime. And that's okay because both textures require snow powder. Cloud slimes just need a little bit extra. Guys, I don't know what they put in these Amazon slimes, but turning it into icy and cloud slime isn't turning out well. So I'm gonna try fixing this with some clay. And hopefully this makes it into a better texture. The texture is definitely getting a lot better now, so let's just keep on mixing. This slime is a lot better now. I'm going to do the same thing for my blue and yellow slime and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just tried fixing the blue and the yellow slime, but this slime isn't really fixable. I mean, the more I try to add clay into it, it's making it even more stiff, which never happens to my own slimes. But I think we can at least make it cute with some candy sprinkles, so let's do it. So we have these colorful waffle sandwich charms, some lollipop charms, some rainbow sprinkles, and also some candy sprinkles. So I want to swirl these colors before putting it into our container. So what I'm gonna do is lay it out like so, and then we're gonna twist it a little bit. And I want to make sure all three colors show in the container. So I am gonna twist it like that and just cut off a section. And now we have this label that we made. It's called Vanellope Sugar Rush, and I'm going to stick it onto our container. Super cute and just top it off with all of these candy sprinkles that we have. This slime makeover didn't really start off as strong, but we did manage to fix it in the end, and I love how this turned out. I bet if Vanellope gets this slime, she'll love it. So let's squish. So this texture wasn't really what I was going for. I was going for either icy or cloud. So even though the end result was cute, I wouldn't say this was a success. But we have our final slime makeover. So let's move on to our next one. This is a final slime we're gonna try fix today. And this slime was $9.99 on Amazon. So let's unbox this. Oh, interesting. It came in similar containers like the Timu ones that I've reviewed in the past. So that's interesting. We also got these two tiny cute duck charms. And it also came with this packet of fishbowl sprinkles. The label says, hello summer. This slime does not give me summer vibes at all. I'm definitely going to have to fix the name of this slime. Whoa. This slime looks super sticky, but I still have hopes for this texture. Let's smell it. Oh, this smells really good, guys, actually. It smells like blue raspberry candy. That smells pretty good. Okay, let's go for the texture test. Not bad, not super sticky. It's definitely sticking to the container, though. And it feels a little more like putty than slime. But honestly, I would say this is one of the better Amazon slimes that I've tested so far. It has pretty good stretch, it's not super sticky, and it actually has a scent. But the more I play with this slime, it's definitely getting a bit tacky, so let's try to give this slime a makeover. Okay, I'm going to just ditch the sprinkles and the charms that came with this slime, and we're gonna use our own charms and sprinkles. Since this is a clear glue-based slime, I think it'll be perfect to turn this into a crunch bomb. Okay, I have a glass bowl, let's just dump everything in. We used these sequins for our rainbow fish crunch bomb, and I thought it was perfect to use for this slime. Guys, this mixture is so pretty. It literally looks like a forbidden cereal. 
All right, we got our slime. Let's mix it with this crunchy mixture. So far, this tacky slime texture is holding up the beads very well. So I'm very happy with it. Guys, I love how this slime turned out. Let's add it into our container and also put on our label. We're going for a beautiful crunchy coral themed slime. So I prepared a crystal coral crunch label and we are just going to label a slime like so. The only thing that's missing from this coral reef is some sea life. So I gather some of my favorite ocean creature charms and we're going to add it on top. So let's first add in some of our starfish charms and some of these coral reef charms. We got this tiny cute fish charms right here. I'm going to add two of them. They can be buddies Aww. right on top of my slime. And to finish off our slime, we're going to put a couple of our seashell charms. Our crystal coral crunch is complete and I love how this slime turned out. It has the cutest sea life charms and it's probably one of the crunchiest crunch bombs I've ever made. So let's squish. Well, after three slime makeovers, I would say this one is my favorite one. It's super crunchy and it smells pretty good. Comment below which one was your favorite slime makeover in this video and make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys don't miss our future videos and also shop our weekly Friday restocks every Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. We drop new slimes every single week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.